effects of sin and the evils of sin, the first that Ibn Qayyim mentions, he says is Hurman al ilm is that a person be prevented from knowledge. That a person be prevented from knowledge because he says knowledge is a light that Allah Azza wa casts into a person's heart. Many times we think knowledge is just memorizing a lot. If I read a lot of books and I memorize a lot of information, then that's what knowledge is. But knowledge is really a light that Allah Azza wa casts into the heart of his believing slaves that illuminates for them that which confuses other people. It is something that gives them insight at a time when people have no sight. Imam Malik, to this effect, when Imam al-Shafi'i came and approached Imam Malik, and Imam al-Shafi'i was much younger than Imam Malik. Imam Malik passed away in 179 and Imam al-Shafi'i passed away in 204. But nonetheless, Imam, Imam Malik notices the uncanny intelligence and the brilliance of this young man. And so he says to him, he says, I see that Allah has cast in your heart a light. So do not darken that light. Do not darken it with the darkness of sin. And so protecting the light that we have, that insight, that inner light that illuminates us, we have to guard our sins. We have to guard our sins. And hence also Imam Shafi'i, he codified in famous poetry, Imam Shafi'i was known as being someone who had photographic memory and he would memorize pages even as he would look at them. And so the story goes that he had been walking in the street and he happened to see a woman's ankle uncovered by the wind. Just happened to see and glance at an ankle. And then he noticed that his memory had gotten weak. And so now you understand why we can't memorize anything. We go outside and we forget a juz of the Quran as soon as we step outside. Imam al-Shafi'i sees an ankle and he, his, his, but also it shows you the sensitivity of the Imam that he recognizes just the slightest difference in his capacity. And so Imam al-Shafi'i complains to his teacher Waqi' and he says, he codified this in verse, he says, He said, I complained to Waqi' about how bad my memory was and he guided me to the leaving of sins. And he told me that this ilm is nur, nurullahi la yu'ta li'asi, and the light of Allah Azza is not given to a sinner. And so the first effect of sin is the loss of knowledge. If you want to enhance your memory and your knowledge, then you need to leave your sin. Sins have bad effect. It impacts your memory. It impacts your ability to gain knowledge, to remember knowledge. So if you are facing that you are having trouble in memorizing things or remembering things or you are having frequent memory loss then you have to understand that you are accumulating a lot of sins so give up your sins give up your bad habits lower your gaze stop your sins and you'll see that slowly but surely you are having a good memory and your knowledge is increasing and you are having a better memory and your skill your family life and your personal life everything is improving day by day